Good evening from District 4 of Saigon here in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. And today, I'm first I'm going to start off by showing you where I'm staying here in District 4, give you a kind of a tour of the room, and then we're going to go eat some awesome, probably street food. We're going to go eat some awesome food because District 4 is known as uh, Saigon's food district. So let me show you what this... Uh, it's not an Airbnb, it's actually a an Agoda homestay, looks like. So there's my clothing, sorry, uh, on the uh, couch here. But you get a couch, you have a really kind of nice place to work. Um, here you even have a place to do laundry. So you've got a washer, you can just hang your clothing up here, and it's outdoor, so obviously the clothing uh, dries very quickly. Close that. And then, yeah, nice bed, nice air con, uh, kitchen, and you've got the bathroom in there. So how much does this place cost me to stay? Right around $30 a night uh, to stay here in this place. So paying up a little bit for Vietnam uh, prices, but it's definitely worth the stay. So let's go ahead and find some amazing food. So by the way, you cross the bridge here and you're in District 1, Crazy Town. This condo, which is right over here, is uh, really conveniently located because you could honestly just take a bike into District 1 and if you want to do that. But there's also a wind mart here, which is like kind of like a small grocery store. And I don't know if you can see it, but where I'm pointing is a 7-Eleven. So yeah, really convenient location. You're close to all the food that you could want in Vietnam. Street food, local food, and yeah. So yeah, we're approaching about 5 p.m. here. And I noticed that, it's, it's, by the way, it's a Friday, so even better. But uh, yeah, I've noticed it's uh, definitely more alive at that time as people get off work. And I uh, haven't had my first meal today. Just small things, so yeah, excited to do some eating and see what else we get into here. We'll see where the day takes us. Some really cool murals here, street art. And just around this bend is a place where I've had some pho, really good. Homemade noodles, uh, really good flavorful pho. But right here, if you're interested in staying in this area, I uh, can't pronounce that, but you walk down here and there are a bunch of like, uh, I don't know, windy, smaller roads that have local Vietnamese restaurants that are really nice and it's really cool. I might try to take you there in the morning. We'll see what happens. In terms of difficulty crossing the road, uh, District 4 is a 10 out of 10. Okay, you're playing on expert mode, playing on hardcore mode the hardest place I've had to cross the road anywhere in the world but uh, yeah it's just part of the experience it's a very very local spot here in Ho Chi Minh so yeah notice I have the walk sign but it doesn't matter hello It's not a walking street, it's just a normal street, but uh, this street is highly recommended. Uh, I didn't eat on this street, but I walked down it one night and uh, there's a lot going on. Seems like a lot of people are getting off of school and work here. Uh, not quite five, but almost five o'clock, so. But you'll see these eateries, I guess restaurants, and in uh, Saigon style, there's like a lot of places to sit out and have a beer, have a drink, have a meal. And I think that that is probably my favorite part about Saigon so far, where people just seem to be really having a nice slow culture around food. But yeah guys, along this uh, road, you'll see all sorts of uh, shops like this here. 
Uh, this appears to be like snails and other, I think, prawns. I don't go for, go for snails personally, but it's very, very popular here. And so I'm sure it's something that you gotta try. And I love this road. This might be one of my favorite roads so far in Saigon, because it, you can see here, it winds around. And I'm gonna hopefully stay out late enough here for this video. You can see it as it, as the sun begins to set. It's like really nice with the lights and everything. Gotta be careful. But you can see it bends around here. See the bends we just walked by there. And uh, yeah, no shortage of options here. I would say that District 4, you know, you really want an authentic experience, you gotta come here. It's, it's really cool. Uh, I haven't really seen too many other foreigners here, especially on this street, but we'll see if I see any tonight, but yeah. Guys, look at this. There's uh, exercise equipment here. Uh, you can come and do an outdoor workout, really cool. I just, I love the, the lawn chairs. I freaking love them. The plastic chairs, it's just, I love it. It's so unique. I haven't seen anything like that before at a restaurant. Prior to coming to Vietnam, that is. But yeah. Here seems to be a pretty cool little spot. I wonder what's in them. You get like burgers and stuff. So cool. I think we might have to get one of these. Got one of these green buns. It's uh, piping hot. So, what it looks like. I really have no idea what's in this. Oh boy, it's so hot. Spongy. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's sweet. Sorry for the bad camera angles. I can't put my finger on what that is. It's some kind of sweet paste. Interesting, it's not bad. Mm. Let me know in the comment section what that is. So guys, if you do come here. Uh, hello. Hello, good. Here. Uh, America, oh, United yeah. States. Are yes. you on holiday? Uh, yes, traveling. Yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, about a week. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, nice. I like it here. Yeah. 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 I do YouTube. Video. Uh, you, uh, you have camera and souvenir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Well, okay. thank you. It's nice meeting you. Yeah. I'm glad like to meet you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Oh, that was great. Uh, so I was, what I was saying was definitely if you come to this section of uh, Vietnam, of Saigon, District 4, the menus will not be in English and there likely won't be an English speaker. So do not expect that. Uh, you might have to use your translate app or just point and that's okay, okay? So just recognize that, you know, you're a guest here. So uh, yeah, heads up. 
around this bend here is even more. There's actually a really cool rooftop bar that I went to already. Uh, I don't think I'll go to it again, maybe. But I did notice that there are some irresistible fried foods here. So might need to uh, try one of these. Hello, uh, xin chào. Uh, what? This is a cheese stick. Cheese stick? Yeah. yeah. Like you can get a variety of, uh, we'll say Western inspired fried food. You can see all the things here. And walked by this the other day, I could not resist. So, I'm wanting to try it, we'll see. Not very healthy at all, but that's okay. Okay, well, here is the fine specimen. Okay, I don't think this is what I ordered, but that's okay. It's a corn dog. I got chili with it too. Oh no, this is it. Wow, there's cheese in there. That's what I was looking for. So look at this. It's hot dog. Layered with cheese, layered with hot dog, layered with cheese. Fried. Mmm. Oh yeah. No regrets. Guys, look at this. Next one up. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, can I film? Can I film? Okay. Uh, oh guys. So good. Rice? Oh rice? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Piping hot, I'll tell you that much. I feel like this is gonna melt my face off. You know what? This might be bird's net. I don't know. If it is, oh well. Eating bird's nest, bird spit. Regardless, it's good. Hmm. Got something going on here, folks. Oh, I noticed. Look, did you see that? I don't know if I got that on camera, but they're giving out balloons. See, look. Get a balloon. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I was here before. I would highly recommend. Uh, thong rooftop. You go right in there and it's a really, really amazing rooftop bar. Hey guys, I think I go for a drink here. And I'm not a huge hibiscus guy, but I love uh, one. Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay, so here it is. Take a quick test for you. Oh yeah, it's like a tea 
to get a sweet tea. And then you also get, I love how you get these spoons here. So I'm assuming that this is peach. Mm hmm Mmm. This is a good one. All right, guys, here's a shot of this amazing street at night here. So I did not eat all the food I bought because I want to go sit down and have some barbecue or something. How about it, guys? Amazing. I don't know which one to pick. Alright guys, well, I think this place called Chili is where I'm going to settle on. It's like a hot pot. Well, I got some really affordably priced beef ribs and then also this Saigon Chill, which I've never tried before. Actually put it in one of these glasses for me, but I actually don't like beer with ice, but it's okay. It's good, it's really light. Yeah, so I also got something called uh, green chili rice or something like that, but yeah, seems really good. So excited Really nice vibe here, too All right, this is I believe the uh, green chili rice here I actually Don't eat seafood, but you know what? I'm still gonna eat this rice Go for it and try one of these chilies. I might regret this. It's hot. It's actually not the worst I've had. Mmm. Good rice. I guess we're gonna do some grilling today. So here's the uh, beef ribs I got. And these sauces are really good. But uh, can't say I've ever done it like this. I've done a uh, Oh, look at this. Okay. So, looks like that came. I don't know what's next. Oh, looks like he's getting a grill. A grill to put on. Okay, I guess I just throw some pork on here at this, time, at this point. Do I just uh, throw the pork on? Okay, on. Okay. Okay, thank you. been grilling for a while here. I don't know how to do this, but I should be ready soon. Let's see. Fun. This is fun. All right. Well, I think the first piece is just about done. So we'll see. I don't know. Let's see how good of a griller I am. What do you think, guys? Good enough? Oh yeah, I think it's done. Mm. It's good. They put some sort of sauce on it. Mm. I think that's done.
Oh yeah, that green sauce. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, that was an incredible must try experience. If you are here in Saigon, thank you so much for being here. If you've not already hit the like and subscribe button, please do help me out and do that. Thank you so much, and I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.